And we're recording. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Welcome, everybody. Yeah. So, what are you doing, Panda? So we're gonna do we're gonna do a little walkthrough because we found a way we found a way to get Fournier to to do what he was meant to do, like in the game. I guess I don't know if you I mean I don't know originally or not, but you can get him to jump jump to the rooftop across from the theater, and it's actually possible to get push him to go all the way to the basketball courtyard and fight him there. Exactly. It, it's in the it's in the Zeus files. It is said Imani is filing filing a report for Gabe, and she says that uh, Cobra has been chasing for near all the way to the like a win from window to window. You can blow the windows in, in his path. Correct. So after some testing, uh, Pandati figured it out, and now he's gonna show it. So do you want to tell them? Why don't you tell them about your uh, your theory? Your theory, like, so we, Leo and I, were messing around with this before, and we were trying to do like a bunch of different methods to get Fournier to run, because Leo figured out how to get him to jump from the theater rooftop to the other rooftop, and then we just yeah. So yeah, back in 2018, I read the Zeus files about Imani saying that Fournier can jump across the roof and move from window to window. I tried to test it, and I got him as much as to jump from uh, to set, from the theater to the roof across, and that was it. Then you uh, got him to go inside the window, and uh, figured out that the windows uh, in the courtyard, basketball courtyard, where you're playing right now, they can be blown up. So you're like, these must have a purpose. And yesterday I was messing around with Carthage 2 and found that hidden room of crates and read the Zeus files again, showed them to you, you read them again and you did some testing and you figured it out. This time you got Fournier to actually, like, the theory was that what whatever is written in the Zeus files uh, is possible to do in gameplay, but I, I thought that it was deleted from, like, was a beta or alpha thing. But you right. proved that it's there in the final version, so we're going to see it now. Right, because the that first time that we were messing around and we figured out how to get Fournier to go into the building, we tr we spent I don't know we what did we spend like an hour just trying to mess around with different methods to get him get to push him to the courtyard. Yes, something like that it didn't happen. So the it's pretty so tricky. The, so we got him we got him inside the building in the other street, which everybody who's watching this who's played is going to know what we're talking about. And then I looked at, I was looking at the map, and if you look at the map, you look at the building where Fournier actually shoots at you from the window or even the rooftop that he's on, you can actually see him on the map right now, I'll highlight him. He's right there. The building he jumps to, there's a path, there's a walk, there's a hallway up top that actually connects to the courtyard, and it connects to these exactly. two these two windows right here in this building. Can you like uh, save state real quick? Yep. And blow one of the windows just to showcase it. So just through, just experimenting. So that window blows yeah, out like on the street. This one will blow out. Yeah, the, the same other way. one too. So this actually got you and me thinking that these windows must have a purpose. Why do they explode like that? Right. And the Zeus file is mentioning that he runs to the windows, so he must be able to come here. This, these windows were like the first clue. Like, cause I mean, I had heard, I think I read, I think Foxan or somebody on the Discord had mentioned that that they thought you could get Fournier all the way to the courtyard, and like blowing up those windows out there was like the first clue that you could do that. Cause why else would you be able to interact with those windows? Was basically the thing. The idea. Yeah, but they were just rumors, but now they are reality. So we, those windows blew out, and then just through experimentation, there's a couple over here, and this is the building that Fournier will jump, will run into to shoot at you later. So yeah. this window is interactable. Window. This no, one's interactable, this one. but this one won't blow up no, like the others. Yeah, the one, the one beside it, the one in the middle. Yeah, this one. That one won't yep. interact. Yep. It's in his path. 
So the science behind this one is that if you scare him with grenades, he's gonna run and hide in the nearest uh, intact window. So if you blow up the window near him, he's gonna go to the next one. If you blow all of them except the ones in the courtyard, then he has nowhere to go except the courtyard. So you're gonna find him there. So just to show, we'll show you guys. So the only window, I'll blow up this one, right? We'll try and experiment. Yeah, he's gonna go to the one on this side. Correct, so. Like, oh, oh, you already blew it. Okay, you, you blew both no, of them, so he's gonna go to the courtyard this time. So he, this, this one is interactable too, I believe. So if it proves right, he'll either end up in this window or he'll stay on the roof because we already blew the windows in the courtyard in this run. I don't think it is. I tried blowing, blowing it up and it didn't actually interact. So I had made another save state in case I kill him by accident. So the trick to get him to move is to keep... The explosion has to be like close enough where it doesn't hit him, but close enough that it activates his like AI to make him run. That's yeah, scare him enough to run away. So I'm going to shoot there. That wasn't close enough. See? He jumps to the roof. And then you got to hit him and do goes. the same thing again. Close enough. Yeah, sometimes I think he's it's activated. like that. Oh, see, see how tricky it is. Like, like it, you're doing it right right now, but he's not prompted to do it. Like I tried this before, but it didn't happen. Yeah, I think and, I think the first shot that I made in the corner wasn't like close enough to him. Have you blown up the courtyard windows? Because they have to be intact. I uh, I did, but I did leave. So normally he runs into this one. I think this one goes as well. It doesn't. Okay. So let's. let's no, show this one doesn't. Him. Right. So we'll show we'll show like him just running into the first window, and then I'll reload the save state, and we'll get him okay. out of court. There's his first jump. Second so grenade. Kind of it's yeah, tricky because he's, he's going to go to the... Oh, no. Yeah, it wasn't close enough to me. Yeah, that's tricky. Like, like I, I wonder... Like, I don't wonder that people haven't figured this out because uh, yeah, it's it very has, tricky. You can it do it adjust. right and it doesn't happen. Yeah, he's being stuck into it. We'll get it. Cobra's down. Reload again. This, this is why it's... Like nobody, like who's gonna who's gonna like figure this out unless it's by complete accident? Yeah, everyone is playing for part time, so they're gonna kill him as quickly as possible. There he goes. Okay, that activated him. So he's gonna run in the building now. See? Yeah, I see him. So you gotta get it close enough, and then he'll run into this window. Now he won't run. Our initial problem when we did this, we got him to this window, but we couldn't get him to the courtyard. But we didn't know that all. Yeah, once he's uh, once he's in the window, that's it. That that like so you have to kill him there. Right, he won't move here now. He'll stay in this window until you take it out. Yeah, and kill him, and then that's it. He's done. So I'm gonna reload the previous safe state before we blew out the courtyard windows. So here we are back at the courtyard. I'm gonna leave those windows intact. Yeah. And blow up the windows near him, so he has nowhere to go but the courtyard, and he's gonna end up there. I, cause I, I honestly thought like when I tried this earlier today, I was like, oh, he, he's probably gonna just like glitch into the building like he normally does, and just end up in the fire and just die instantly. But I, his yeah. AI started running towards the courtyard, so yeah, right so. Yeah, go on, go on. So take out any windows you take out. He'll go to he'll he'll end up at whatever window you don't blow out. So blow out these yeah, two the windows one, in front. Yeah, the one nearest to him. Yeah. So we shot a video earlier, like doing this, and I was like, you were showing me this for the first time. So here's how how it was. We were talking about the Zeus files in the Discord, and uh, I went to test my theory. Didn't work. I did it like. I didn't do exactly what you're doing right now, but I tried different methods. And then I gave up and I went out. And then I came back and you were like, 
telling me, hey, I figured out something. And I was like, did you make Fournier go to the courtyard? He so said, if yes. You guys, if you guys look on my map right now, Fournier is running down that hallway we were talking about earlier. And that connects to those two windows in the courtyard. So he's in the courtyard now. Now that we took exactly. out those other windows, that pushes him to the courtyard. That's that's the trick to get him out there. And it turns out it's it's actually possible. Yeah, and you were showing me that for the first time, and my reaction was like, oh my god. I was so surprised that it actually happened, because was, I thought it was a deleted feature or something. Right. But that was, video got uh, corrupted or something, so we're kind of redoing it now with more, with more sophisticated uh, showcasing. Yeah, so there he is in the courtyard. He is now in the basketball courtyard. It is possible to get him out here. Good. And it turns yeah, out... You did it, man. And it's it's funny because we thought it... I mean, I thought it was just like a bug, a bug in his AI or something. They just didn't add. Like, they initially... So, like, tell tell everybody, like... The first time we were trying to figure this out, Leo, tell everybody what your initial theory was after we had, like, tested and we, didn't, we couldn't get him to move, like... Yeah, I thought that it's there in the Zeus files and the windows can't be blown up. So it must have been there, but it got deleted. Like it's an alpha or beta feature, but we're not going to get it in final release. Correct. And then what about what about like what the initial plan was as far as like chasing Fournier across the rooftops? Oh, that was like to go to the theater. And yeah, my theory was that since the Zeus files mentioned that you have to actually chase him literally, so I thought that from the theater, like there's a door in the second floor that if you if it opens, it's not it doesn't open, but if it opens, it's like directly behind Fournier on the on the rooftop. So I thought in the beta or alpha version that that door was gonna get open and you chase him from roof to roof, window to window, and got deleted. But uh, turns out no, you chase him from the streets just like we're doing right now, and there he is in the courtyard. So we can showcase too. Like I'll show you guys what Leo was talking about. If you go up into the theater, and you'll definitely, you'll definitely real. It's easy to you'll realize this too. Like if you don't, if you don't touch Tornier and you just run into the theater here, you go up to the second floor. This door here leads directly to the to the top of the theater. His his first perch that he's on. So yeah, he's right behind that door when they he actually initially have, stopped. Uh, That's the theater roof. I have uh, walk through walls on, so we'll walk through and we can show you guys. So yeah, this, the cheats. So this that door yep. leads directly out to his first perch here. There it is. I thought that this was a deleted feature. Like you chase him from this door, that door should have been open or something. But it turns out it's not. And then initial on initially that the first time we were trying to figure this out too, we glitched over and ran inside. And sure enough, you can you can actually run into the hallway that he runs down and find. The oh, can guard. can you can you show the path that he goes to? Yeah, so it's right. Okay. Can you start from the outside so that because I'm kind of lost here. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. Okay. So this I is a, this is his initial roof, and then after his after yeah. his second activation, that's the room that he ends up in. He goes to the left. You run in. This is the hallway. This this right here is the hallway he runs. He can run down. And then that's one of the first. That's one of the first windows he can go out. So, oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, so... No, the, uh, no, no, you have to go to the left, actually. It's, um... Right. Yeah, no, no, it's to the left. You see that? Oh, long, you know what uh, it is? Path? Yeah. yeah, I know what it is. I tested it. Oops, okay. That's it. So that's yeah, one of the here, first here it is. Yes, exactly. Anyway, running, keep going forward. I think I'm, keep a little going too, forward. I'm a little too low. That's why you can't see the floor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so there's the hallway. Yeah, here it is. This is the hallway. Yeah. And then this yeah. is the room. This is him in the courtyard right now. Yeah, see? And that's it. Hey, buddy. Good work, man. Congratulations. I mean, you figured it out. We've been trying this for months. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's awesome to see that it wasn't actually taken out of the game, but I just... It's funny because yeah. you think it's like how how would anybody? You, there's no way anybody would figure that out unless it was by complete action. Like no one, no one would because you're on part time and you would just like right. shoot him in the head and be done with it. Like give him a clean headshot and yeah, everybody's trying to get everybody's trying to get the same 
as fast as possible. Yeah, while you're at it. Oh, you deactivated the cheat. We could have like gone into the hidden hidden room too. Then we made, so I actually, earlier today, I just checked, I checked, I checked the wiki and I checked some spots online to see if anybody had already mentioned this, but Leo, yeah. Leo had a theory that we tested last night. He had a feeling that there was something behind that store. This is the building that the ALA squad comes out of normally. So if I yeah, they come from the sheet here, so you can climb. I always thought like you can climb up on this scaffolding, but there's really no reason to like be up here. But turns out if you if you get through this door, there's a hidden room. There it is. Right here. And what do you know? There's grenades, flak jacket, an MGL, and a G36 rifle too. So there's like a hidden. Yeah, that's for me as a weapon. So we this found, is the hole in the wall. Yeah, we found this and kind of freaked out. And then <laughs> turns yeah. out, after you turn the cheat off, you can actually you can actually jump up on this on the ledge right here. So I was thinking like, if you can jump up on the, why would you be able to jump up on the ledge like that? It doesn't really make sense. But it turns out, after, if you blow the building up with the C4, which we can we can show off for you guys too, that hole that'll blow out the window. And this is actually an interactable teammate accessible area. We could probably. Yeah, exactly. It. We did a video about this too. If you blow up the furnace to kill the ALA squad, you can see that window, that hole in the wall actually open. You can jump to it. I think you made a video, you can jump glitch through that window without the need of a teammate. Yep. Yeah, I don't have a glitch for it, but. We showed it off in the other video that you guys can see. But sure enough, that's actually it. You can, if multiplayer ever comes back, you can access that area with a teammate and grab like an MGL and stuff. But it's kind of similar. It's similar to Belarus One. Like you can you can use a teammate to get the M79, but like there's really no reason you would ever want to do that because it's not going to help you get part time or really help you finish the mission faster. It was just a cool extra detail that they added. Yeah, which is why not so many people know about it, because it's not essential, really. But it's cool to find. So to show you guys the Zeus file that kind of clued it off was in... It's actually in the Carthage Mall Zeus files. It's not in It's not in the Warehouse District ones. Mission data, one of yeah, the... Yeah, that, that's, that's kind of weird. They put it in the other level. Right, that's why it was like hard... It was hard, kind of weird to find it, because you wouldn't expect that. But yeah. the paragraph on the left here had kind of like hints to what, hints to how you can get Fournier to run through the windows and buildings, if you read through it, you know. Yeah, here it is. It says that the agent, my agent threw, uh, uh, what is he, he was ran into the building across the street and tried to take out my agent through the window. Yeah, that's Fournier who ran, ran across uh, the windows. And then the agent was smart enough to blow up each room. So that's the clue right there. You have to blow up each room and then start chasing him. Right. Right, it kind of implies like blow, like blowing up each room can control like where he goes. So that kind of will put the idea in my head of like what happens if you blow up the wind, certain windows, maybe he'll have to be forced to go to a different one. And that's, that's the trick. That's the trick to get him to go to the Nice catch. So, nice catch, man. So we figured it out. He's not broken. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't, I'm looking forward to like the next, the next thing we find, because who knows, you know? Yeah, I wonder what else we can find inside this game. I mean, I'd be like looking over for hidden stuff like this. Yeah. Yep. Keep up the good work, man. All right, man. Uh, nice cash. Congratulations. It's actually pretty cool. And I was very surprised the first time you showed me this, but uh, it's sad that the original video got corrupted or something. So. Yeah, well, here it is. This is yeah. the final version. So yeah, good work, Panda. All right, man. I'll uh, I will right, catch man. you later. Right, Thanks for watching, you. guys. Take it easy.